Hysenat. He's arguably, probably not even arguably, the most popular streamer on Twitch in the last couple years. We're just doing, you know. Not only that though, but the homie is black, which is also for the industry, as there wasn't that much black representation in the mainstream streaming space. So that's a W. Now though, as I do, I was wondering, what would a Kai Sinat eSport look like? So let's start from the beginning. Just before we start, by the way, don't forget to check out the first link in the description down below to check out my everything pack, 26 custom made products made just for you guys as designers and artists. The cool part is of course, we have an awesome Discord community you guys can also just check out, vibe with, learn from, and, and just like get some critiques, all that good stuff. But it is just a single purchase and for the rest of your entire life, you will get any product that I release free, no matter what the price is, emailed directly to you guys. Join the other 7,100 and something, something plus people and I hope you enjoy it. We need an eSports name. Now, the obvious, if you're a fan, you might consider the fact that we would go with something with like AMP, but that's not, we wanna start like really fresh. So I went with the next best thing, the Mafia, which might I add would be a super tough eSport name. But with the name comes a logo. Now, some way or another, for some reason, I lost my file and I just cannot seem to find it or it got deleted. So I went something like this. I focus on finding a cool typeface for Mafia. Then of course I asked myself, do I want to call it the Mafia? I don't know. W would you rather, w you know? Then founded it as it is, it is an esports team, so it probably needs an icon logo. So I went ahead and found some photos of Mafia poses that felt like it would be cool in like a 2D form. Then said, well, the Mafia type should also feel somewhat iconic and different, so let's mess with the F to give it a more aggressive look. So then we landed here. The featured Mafia mascot logo inside of this shape that actually helps hide the true identity of the Mafia. Because for one, I think anyone can be a part of the Kai Sinat Mafia, so you kind and in a way just leaves it as like a nice undetermined unknown being. Alongside this though is a special character F to add some variety and a touch of sinister vibes at first glance. And I would say it came out pretty dope. Overall though, I was fairly happy with it and I moved straight into the social branding because I felt like I had an idea. So given Kai was from the Bronx, I knew it only made sense trying to incorporate the classic art form from New York, graffiti. So what I ended up doing was compiling a few font variations of graffiti type that spelled out things like mafia, or AMP, KC, KC3000, in order to draw from the community's aspect of Kai and things that people would probably relate immediately to. After it was all said and done, I, I landed here. An uninspired concept that fell very, very short. Mood board time. I knew going into it, I wanted to celebrate the feeling of black culture. So sourcing for brands like Nike, Stussy, classic chaotic texture ideas, Cactus Jack, and just honestly keep the type at the foreground because I knew the photo was probably gonna be what separated this eSport the most. So basically I ended up landing here for my photos. If you were to end up focusing your attention on the X marks, these are some key features that I personally were drawn to, like their type texture, frame systems, and this collage-like feeling, leaving me with these keywords: noisy, lively, and energetic. So with that, I went back into it. Immediately, I actually found success using the graffiti wall pattern texture as like a sporadic placement to draw energy you'd feel when you're probably considering a Kai Sinat esports team. Then having the main color scheme be this white and black vibe with a splash of this purple team color, basically overall allowing the space to feel full, but yet still light in nature from the lighter tones. Then of course I had to apply a photo treatment that could be a part of like the texture library. And doing so with these like black and white cutouts of the main focus photo to just add a sense of motion, even if it's like a still image. And honestly, just to also celebrate whoever's actually placed in the design. And of course, now you add a bit of type texture, now you're in the conversation of motion and I don't do that. So I had to ask a friend. Hey, it's George or No Act Design. It's been a while since I've been on the channel, but Sesso hit me up to animate these graphics and I just wanted to talk through the thought process for them. When I was working on these, I wanted to emphasize the graffiti and make the pieces individually kind of bounce around just to create some more chaotic movements on the composition. I also applied a similar treatment to the photos and created some impact frames at the start that would fill the screen with color just for a couple frames before settling into the static file that Sesso sent over to me. I wanted to create a more aggressive tone for the movement of the object, so instead of using animation to kind of smoothly ease things into place, I would just have them glitch into the frame sporadically and I would individually keyframe the scale and rotation properties. After I created the initial graphic, it was just a matter of applying that style onto the other frames. So we ended up creating animations for the versus, victory, and full screen typography graphics. So with that all said and done, let me introduce 
the Mafia branding. Honestly, I was pretty excited how well the tones and textured work with sometimes the photo itself being the treatment for the design. I feel like it worked even if the photo was in the purple gradient or just like the photo's original colors. The Mafia type at every corner of the canvas just kind of allowed the design to feel energetic and candidly, everything looks better with the Nike logo. <laughs> You know it'd have to be Mafia's first consideration given the, the recent news. But anyway, this is it. This is the full overview. Hopefully you guys find it as dope as it was fun to envision it. I'm always a fan of colliding two worlds that ride so close to each other in this industry. Honestly, shout out Kai, I'm a personal big fan. But with that being said, Seso HQ out. You're having to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. And let me know who is next. You know, what content creator or something, somebody cool, please, thanks. Later.